rank the atomic radius size by region on the periodic table. Region 1, region 2, region 3, region 4. For instance, is 1 the biggest and 3 the smallest? In a nutshell, atomic radius is simply the distance between the nucleus and the outermost electron. Let's take it one direction at a time. What is the trend of atomic radius size up and down? We'll examine group 1 elements. Hydrogen has one shell, lithium has two shells, sodium has three. We keep adding electron shells as we descend down the periodic table until we get down to the seventh period where there are seven shells of electrons. And you can see that with francium, there's a ton of separation between the nucleus and the outermost electron. On top of that, shielding occurs more and more with additional shells, where by nature of their proximity to the nucleus, these inner core electrons block the axis of our outermost valence electrons to forming an attraction with the nucleus. And adding to this effect, these inner electrons also repel our valence electrons as like charges repel, further depriving these outermost electrons access to the nucleus. As a result, the atom's radius increases because the force of attraction between the nucleus and the valence electrons electrons is weakened, it's smaller. Therefore, atomic radius increases as you go down a group by adding more shells because adding more shells incurs more shielding. So regions 2 and 4 have higher atomic radii than 1 and 3 respectively. And this contradicts answer choice D, so we'll cross that out. What about the left and right trend? Well, within a period or row, every element has the same number of electron shells. In this case, period two elements have exactly two shells. So the valence shell, the outer shell, is shell two. We're adding a proton and an electron with each successive element as we proceed left to right. So the number of protons and electrons are the same per element, three and three, four and four, five and five, until we get to nine and nine. However, each additional electron is added to the same second shell, the valence shell. Couple that with the fact that the nucleus gains positive protons moving left to right and going from lithium to fluorine, the nucleus has tripled in positivity, all the while the additional valence electrons are still two shells away from the nucleus. Thus, the nucleus is going to be better, stronger, in attracting these valence electrons closer to itself, and we call this phenomenon effective nuclear charge. So atomic radius decreases as we go left to right on the periodic table because of increasing E and C. Putting this all together, atomic radius increases to the left and down the periodic table. So that means that two is the region with the largest atomic radius, and three is the smallest. But what about the top left and the bottom right regions? Which one is bigger and which one is smaller? So really that turns to the question of what factor is more powerful in influencing atomic radius trend. We know that E and C in shielding are not equally strong because that means that we would have a one equals four option for the answer choices. So it just so happens that shielding is more powerful in its effect on atomic radius as compared to E and C. Therefore, the top left region generally has smaller atomic radii than the bottom right. So B is going to be the correct answer. However, it's not always true that any four corners of elements will always have this order of atomic radius size. Be sure to check out the video on your screen to learn about the major exceptions to this.